Okay, let's go visit Chakwis first. Commander. Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Expensive stuff bringing me back. And worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. Yes, a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. Good. Your implants are showing little sign of rejection. Just keep up that positive outlook of yours, Commander, and your scars shouldn't return. That's it. You're the picture of health. How's your inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stopped before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time, even given the amount of fire you take each day. Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? We didn't work for them. We used them. If I were to feel anything, it would be guilt. We took their money, took their best people, took their best ship. We used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. So no, I don't regret it one bit. You've never mentioned any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. The Alliance is my spouse, and you're all my children. I'm blessed with many close friends. But with each Alliance vessel taken, I lose one or two. We need to end this war. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. I'll do my best. Okay. Liara. Hi. Oh, yeah. Hi, Cliff. Where are you? Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Broker's ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph instead of Info Drone 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Of course, you speak to Liara first, then, before we check out the terminal. Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. <sighs> a few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker without data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get. We'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. People were finally starting to listen before the Reapers came. If we'd had a little more time, maybe Earth wouldn't. I'm sorry. I understand if you don't want to talk about it. The thought means a lot, Liara. Thanks. You're welcome. And since I didn't mention it before, it's good to be back, Shepard. <laughs> it's so good to have you back, girl. All right. What do we have here? Amor, Amor Modkid. Uh, okay, now I have to choose. Ammo capacity. Use Modkid to upgrade your thermal clip capacity. Shields. Actually, when it came to my shotgun, I had a feeling a bit more ammo carrying around would be nice. Let's go with the ammo. Oh, that was already it. Nothing else so far? Okay, okay, okay. This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. 
Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. That's nice. Prophecy and notes, 2171 to 2185. Cliff, remind me to clean up these old notes. Perhaps reviewing them will lead to something useful for Prothean device, Liara. 2171. The University of Ceres agreed to sponsor me at the Prothean dig on Tretty Rob. Very exciting. Professor Heddle is heading the expedition herself. Maybe I can even ask her for her opinion on my thesis outline. Attachment. Thesis on Protean First Contact Protocols, 2174. I believe Dr. Joel was right to suggest that the Protean artifacts we unearthed are from the Third Age, not the Fourth. What an embarrassing mistake. At least he seemed to approve of the rest of the paper. Attachment, paper on a comparison of Protean technology to modern Asari circuit logic. 2183, Part 1. I'm going on the Therum expedition. I never thought I'd gain permissions to visit the Prophet Ruins there, but the University of Ceres must have secured the founding after all. Now to pack. Attachment paper on the end of the Prophet Empire. 2183, Part 2. Goddess, this human shepherd has the key to comprehending the Protheans on an instinctual subconscious level. If only I could have been there when the command attached to Beacon on Eden Prime, I'll try to learn more about this cipher on board the Normandy. The involvement of the Reaper is troubling to say the least. Attachment. Paper on the end of the Prothean Empire with a correction notes. 2185, I reviewed the old Shadow Brokers footage of the collector uh, collectors. It's chilling to know that they're the Protheans husks. At least nothing sentient could possibly remain after what the Reapers did to them. Attachment paper on Prothean biology. Message from Operative Pharaoh to the Broker. I made contact with Tessik yesterday. The look on his face was priceless. He's not happy you must me you put me in charge of scouting the terminus systems, but he's doing a good job of keeping us alive. I've never seen so many pirates and mercs on edge. Black market's unreliable and it's getting harder to make contact with suppliers. But the Alliance won't be able to rely on it as a source of crucible materials for long if things get worse. Some of the other operators think we should cut our losses now, but I just keep asking them when did the odds ever stop the broker. Ferry. Good to know he's doing good. Uh, what was the talk about Starks? I'm watching in between games and don't turn off the stream while in game. Uh, what, what do you mean with Starks? What was what was the talk about Starks? Well, I, I'm not sure what you mean with Starks, Acer. I had so many Starks recently, <laughs> but I'm, I think we're done here for now. Hello, uh, okay. Shepherd. Of course, we can still kind of investigate. Let's investigate. How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. It's that high tech. I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. <laughs> so is that drone your new secretary? Glyph is a VI shell that indexes my search functions on the data feeds. I couldn't work without it. Although I'm lucky Edie let Glyph on board after it tried to rewrite her scheduled tasks. I was merely attempting to standardize the ship's automated systems to our own, Dr. Tassoni. Yes, that's precisely why you're confined to the cabin. Uh, no idea, just heard something talking about not being present and yet watching? Not sure what was it, it was like half or an hour ago. No idea, I've just heard something talking about... Ah, uh, you mean like you in the stream? You mean like in-game? Or uh, was I talking about something in real life? It sounds... Uh, I was talking about um, um, if you lurk and mute the stream for whatever reason. I per personally do this quite often, I want to support the streamer. But for some reason I can really watch the stream right now, so I mute the stream. If you do this in any, any streamer stream, always mute your tap. But not the stream itself. Because otherwise it doesn't count as a viewer. Um, if you if you mute the stream, Twitch does not recognize you as a viewer. Um, so if you do this, which is totally fine, always always mute the tab. Maybe this. I, I talked about this quite quite a few times today, and it sounds like okay. I wasn't sure if you were talking about something like in game because for the last half an hour I had only uh, dialogues in, in in the game itself, <laughs> and I wasn't sure if you were talking about something that was in the game or something I was talking about. But it seems like that was it. Yeah. Just always, um, not only here in general, again, Twitch is doing some, some weird stuff to stop their small streamers from growing. Um, so yeah, if you mute the stream, you just doesn't be recognized as a viewer anymore. So always, it doesn't matter which stream you are, always mute the tab. 
Okay. <laughs> What's been happening with you is the broker, Liara? It's been exciting. The old broker's ship. Impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? Wait. I knew he was coming. Ferran and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus's ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. What kind of distraction? Sending the broker's ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. <laughs> I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Can you still operate as the broker without the ship? Well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. I saved what was crucial. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. Thank you for the explanation. I'm really going to which uh, totally um, um, nothing to thank for. Yeah, it's a really, really stupid thing. At some point, I thought it was only me, but a year, years ago almost, uh, I checked it out with another friend who's a streamer as well. And I, I see people talking. I mean, it's never been officially sad that this is a thing, but again, other streamers talking on, on Twitter about it all the time, so so kind of officially, unofficially, it's just how how it works on Twitch, so I'm always happy um, to, to explain it to people, and if they actually do them this way, so they actually support me, so it's so totally cool. I'm, I'm happy you asked again, so I was able to explain it to you. <laughs> okay, Ferran, how is so he doing? Ferran if you two escaped? He convinced me he was recovered enough to work, and I do need more agents. Agent Farron didn't report any injuries during his last call to you, Doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. Aww. What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars. I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. All right. We'll talk later, Liara. I think. Of course. We're done for now. Please enjoy your day. Maybe before we actually, yeah, this was a lot of talking. I know, I know, but this is Mass Effect. Deal with it. <laughs> Just want to check on my captain's cabin very quick. I think I didn't have a chance to do this yet. Only woke up there after my horrible nightmare, but didn't really have a chance to walk around. I don't think so many things changed. Oh god, I need this fish feeder. Now that we're in Mass Effect 3, I need this fish feeder. I don't think I got anything new since. Squad selection, huh? Yeah, a, t a tiny, tiny squad. Okay, that looks weird. Gotta get several outfits. I think this is fine. <laughs> I didn't know the last one. Um, yeah, we accept it this way. Hamster! I have a hamster! Okay, I'll be... I think that's it for <clears throat> Um, A mission? <clears throat> How about a mission? <laughs> They give different- Oh! Buffs to the clothes of your crewmates! Okay, this is new. This is new that there are actually some new- Did we talk to trainer up here? Amanda, I don't think so. To check on your new recruit. Just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Next time you need something, just ask. You're not alone here. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. We can put in a requisition order. My toothbrush is a Scission Promark 4. It uses tiny mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. It costs 6,000 credits. Okay, yeah. You're on your own with that. <laughs> in any event, I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? I do end up in the military anyway. My family didn't have money for university. When the Alliance saw my aptitude scores, they offered me a full scholarship. I served my required years after graduation and decided to stay. I really like the challenges of the lab. O although, I'm sure I'll grow to love frontline service as well. You worked in Alliance R&D? Yes. You'd think quantum entanglement would make communication easy, but imagine incorporating multiple incoming sources 
and then networking them with extrapolations of time lag data to construct a coherent situation GUI. It's an exciting challenge. Um, for me, anyway. I'm surprised you're worrying about a toothbrush. We got bigger problems right now. Oh, believe me. Seeing the Reapers on Earth was terrifying. But I won't help anybody by bursting into tears here in the CIC, will I? Being here on the Normandy helps. If anyone in the galaxy can stop the Reapers, it's you. I hope so. And if flagging your messages and managing strategic intel helps you in any way, then it's worth it. Where are you from originally? A colony in the Terminus systems, actually. Though I studied on Earth, at Oxford. My parents were from London. They loved Earth, but they wanted the freedom a colony life could offer. Even if that freedom has its share of danger. If I recall correctly, you grew up on Mindwar. Given what happened to Earth, I don't think we can count on anywhere being safe right now. Quite true, Commander. Carry on, Specialist. Hello, person right behind me. Okay, opening the map for the first time in Mass Effect 3. Oh. Concord systems. Clusters already conquered by the Reapers can be accessed using the Normandy Stealth Drive. Search these clusters for survivors, salvage, and valuable intel. Mm hmm. Yeah, that looks horrible. Um, where is this one side mission thingy? Recover Prothean Artifact? You're not showing that to me that easy anymore as you used to? Or is this blue lightning thingy? The Sabarus Lab. I would like to do the Sabarus Lab first. I know that if you continue... Just one thing I learned out on talk wearing, d during um, the jump through the mass portals because during the mass relays because I know it's too loud. I, I, I know that when you do... You can fuck up missions if you don't do them in the right order. This is what I'm trying to say. I, I will just always, if I have a new, if I have some new side missions, I will always do the side. Is this even? No. I will always do the side missions first uh, before I continue with the main story. So the several slap definitely first. Search and rescue. The nominee is equipped with a new and improved scanning pulse that can detect objects of interest. Use this to uncover war assets, artifacts, intel, and fuel as you fly around a system. Be aware, however, that each system. The pult is used the chance that Reapers will enter the system to investigate is increased. If a Reaper enters the system, you are on flee and wait until you have completed the mission before returning. Oh god, I didn't remember that. I found something. Am I already in danger? Is it coming? Oh yeah, I saw it down there. Do I have to scan? I didn't know the scanner was still a thing. God, it's been a while. There are two missions that are important, I think. I, I don't know which one. I already made it up. Um, if, if As long as I have side missions, I will always do the side missions first. Lost and found. Are you telling me what I found? Javelin missile launchers. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, where is it? Okay, you know what? They're coming soon. Uh, so we gotta check this out later, shall we? <laughs> Signal confirmed. Okay, let's be quick before the Reapers arrive. God, the scanner is slow. There must be an update for it, right? It's a very slow scanner. Lost and found! Some some credits? And... Yeah, okay, credits. Some credits and credits. Wreckage. The wreckage of a fuel depot destroyed by enemy forces. Fuel can be salvaged from the debris. Recover 350 units of fuel. Thank you. Just what I needed. Okay, and now... Our first side mission! Woohoo! <laughs> so exciting! Ah, yeah, I wonder who I bring with me. James or Liara or Liara and James? What do you say? Power damage? Ah, uh, armor bonus. Power damage. Yeah, I, I think we're fine. I, I really care more about the looks, to be honest. <laughs> I care more about how to look at their armor than what the armor is good for. Um, I have two different here. Capacity, fire rate, damage, accuracy is much higher. Uh, but 
to wait. Not until I maybe have like a mod for it. Nah. Nah. Ah, we're good. Come on, it's only side mission. What about you guys? Are you good with your weapons? Maybe I bring it for you. Yeah, you get the more damaged one. Do I have? Okay, I only have one here. Oh, you're right. I can give them mods as well. Okay, you don't. They don't care about uh, how heavy their weapons are. Okay, and I have no mods here. Good. I guess now we're ready to go. Okay, we're not ready to go. <laughs> um. Yeah, again, I don't care about the melee, dap uh, dap the, the melee damage, but more health and barrier would be nice. Okay. Maybe saving for that for now. Here it is good. You don't need to travel the whole time with a, with a scanner. It is also possible just to scan every few meters. I think this is just what I did, right? I would say I will, I will continue the way I just did it so far. <sighs> Commander, I've got a hail from Admiral Hackett. Put him through, Lieutenant. Shepard, we've uncovered a secret service lab. Function unknown. We sent in a recon team, but they were forced to pull out before they got very far. Any other intel? We think they're using the facility to warehouse and study Reaper tech. We've been wondering how service is connected to the Reapers, and this might give us some answers. We're on it. Find out what service is doing and get me any Reaper tech samples you can, Commander. Hack it out. Got it. Got it and on it. Commander, I'm tracking some tech with a Reaper signature. That's your first sample to grab. Updating your nav point. On my way. I like the sound. <laughs> ah, over there? Okay. Oh. Pick it up, pick it up. What's it? Personal luck, see, Tally, finally here. Wow, the troops are really intense. No one smiles, ever. And suicide and capture order? Seriously, they call training integration. I start being integrated tomorrow. Can't wait. Doesn't sound like something pleasant. Yeah, I actually remember this mission, maybe because it is the first one. Not what I wanted, but it's okay. <laughs> well, that's weird looking. Guess we found it. Mate, you all right? Okay. Thought it was a little longer. Oh. Why are you giving me this stuff for the sniper rifle? I don't need a sniper rifle. Ah, okay, I was wondering. We're not ready. We're not done yet. Good work. We're not done yet. Mm-hmm. Ah, this is so cool. That's so not cool of you. Warp this thing, please. Warp it, warp it away. Oh my god. <laughs> that was cool. Ah! <clears throat> oh, 
so smooth. I like it. Uh-oh. Can someone protect me? Don't let him shoot at me while I'm deactivating. Did I deactivate? Second sample secured. Heading back to you now. Where where are my people? We just need to hold out until Cortez can pick us up. That was not what I wanted. Never said it would be easy. Okay, wait for Cortez. Thank you. Where where are my people? Are they with me? Stay focused. This isn't over yet. I could do this all day. I have no idea where you are and James are heaven said ah you can't right behind me ah! Ah! Cortez, do you copy? What's your status? Lieutenant! Last stand, Commander. Just stay focused and keep at it. Ah, uh, because he has a shield, it doesn't work. I'm an idiot. Okay, where'd it come from? Oh my god, something exploded here. Do it! Why did it not work? So smart. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Damn! You really should just stay here, buddy. As soon as you can get here. Got their idiots. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, I, I heard it. Shields on it! Nah! This one's against the wrong one. Can someone take down? Oh, you know what? I do it myself. It's alright. Woo! Extraction point. Ready for pickup. Oh, now it's. I love a good shotgun, everybody! <laughs> no, we did good. <clears throat> Proud of my, my, my mates. Even though at some part I was the shoes they with me. <laughs> but when they were with me, they did good. Commander, we've got our best engineers looking at the Reaper tech you secured from that lab. What was Cerberus doing with it? We don't know yet, but whatever Cerberus is up to, it can't be good. Even if we can't determine its purpose, we've disrupted their experiments. I doubt Sorry. they'll just close up shop. Agreed. We'll keep sending strikes against the facility. Good work, Commander. Ah, good work indeed. Ooh. The lounges we found. X Saberus Severus research data. I think we are all ready, ready to move on. Maybe check in on Nails for real quick. You'd never know there was a war on. They'll know soon enough. All those refugees have to go somewhere. Are we true? Nothing new here, so let's keep on moving. Hello, man. <laughs> yeah, looking forward to that a lot. Goody, one hundred percent here. Still something missing here. 
You don't need to know the whole time for your scanner? I mean, I have to scan the area. Oh God, why is it also so big here? Okay, there's clearly nothing here. There's clearly nothing here. I mean, it doesn't always have to be a planet. Yeah, yeah, they're slow as fuck. Can I? Pfft, was this a good idea? Okay, 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 they're not as slow. Oh my god, they're not that slow. Successful. <laughs> ah, untouchable, exactly. <laughs> I really thought it were a little slower. All of a sudden, they were really, really quick. <laughs> but this lady is untouchable. All right, Felavan, I think we're still here. Rescue Turian Primark. Primark, Primark? Not sure. We know who we have to save, that's all that matters. Are there even things to find here? I don't know. There are clearly no Reapers. Okay, yes, let's go. Come on, honestly, let's check this out. It's space flying reminded me of Boris. <laughs> Ma many, ma many year, many year. Yeah, this is where we have to go, and I'm really looking forward to it. So let's do this. I maybe. I, I don't think I need three weapons. Okay, first of all, yeah, select. Oh, and select. Y y don't don't pretend like I have a choice here. <laughs> Let me just go with these two guys. Honestly, I don't think I need the sap machine gun. It hardly makes a difference at this point, but I I don't know. I don't have the feeling like I need it. That makes a bit of a difference. I'm, I think I'm good this way. Ooh, that was quick. There we go. Fitness. Oh yeah, we just hit a level. Level up, I think. Um, um, um increase health and barrier bonus, please. Please, yeah. Already out of points then again. What are we with here then? Decrease the shield, recharge delay. Increase melee damage. You really want me to go at melee damage? I don't. I don't want to. I don't want to go down the path of melee damage. I think. Am I saving points here? Then I got warp. Warp is helpful. Warp is good. Let's go with warp. What do we have here? Increases health and armor damage bonus by 4%. Oh, that sounds nice. Okay, sure. Why not? Alright! Our first big mission, like the one we could choose to go for. Um, yeah. Oh, god. I'm quiet. friend there holy hell they're getting decimated strongest military in the galaxy and the reapers are obliterating it was it like this on earth yes shepherd i'm so sorry yeah commander the lc is getting swarmed james open that hatch <laughs> i need to let go of some pent up anger in a shepherd way. Okay, that didn't work. Ah! All right, 
Get in, get out. Let's move. This is the shotgun. Cavalry has arrived. Hell to the fuck yeah! Ah, oh, that was the wrong one! Ah, fine for me. Ah! God, I, I missed Nova. I totally forgot about it at some point, but I missed Nova. <laughs> okay, is there anything to collect me? For me to collect you? I'm always on the look for loot, like you. I am friendly. Most of the time. Find the commanding officer. Mm hmm. The ground reports, knowledge of the terrain is our only advantage here, and that's not going to last forever if they keep throwing the focus at us. We'll hold this area as long as we can. I'm linking my transponder to the live signal monitoring system of the unit suits. If it goes out, send another unit here ASAP. Tabestic, oh. get your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Sergeant Bardas, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. General. Commander Shepard, heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Fedorian. Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's gonna complicate things. How bad is it, General? We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. We set up camps Jeez. on this moon as an advanced position to flank the enemy. A sound strategy, just... Irrelevant. Exactly. The sheer force of the Reapers seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic. The Primarch and his men found that out the hard way. I'm sorry. I hear he was a good man. And a friend. He would have been an outstanding diplomat. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, Contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Husks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Don't worry, General. I'll get your tower operational. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. I was ready to help. I see the comm tower. To the left of the main barricade in front of Palavin. Mm -hmm. Let's go! Can I loot first? Sir, shuttle carrying the fighter mechanics has not arrived. Presumed MIA. How many fighters are in for repair? 29, sir. Up and on your left. Only 38 barely repaired. Uh, from Commander Hexner, uh, rear supplies, they sent us winter gear. Not sure what they thought we'd do with that kind of gear here, but I suppose we should thank the spirits nonetheless. The power sources can be cannibalized and converted to power or combat gear filtering units instead, at least. It'd be nice not to have those clogging up anymore. That looks like... Uh, okay, some ammo. I thought a gun, but ammo is good as well. Armor, ammo. Ooh, another shotgun. Let me, let me, let me, this is, this is, this is, let me take a closer look here. Yeah, okay, because I already got it on three, because I already spent some, put some money in it. Now it's cool, let's stick with the katana. Katana! Sorry. <laughs> I'm very satisfied with my shotgun so far. That being said, why am I not running around with my shotgun? Hi, Shepard, your help. I heard you have a problem. <laughs> I was already so far away. Ah, the wrong one! Come on, now we're going. Ah! Ah! Oh god, this is so... I feel
feel so powerful! I love this! How can you ever play Mass Effect 3 without this attack? <laughs> we can't repair it from this panel. <laughs> you like it too, Acer, I can tell. Um, oh god, uh, uh, Liara makes more sense, actually. Liara, see if you can repair it. I'll go up and have a look. If you can keep husks from climbing up behind me, I'd appreciate it. Here they come. Ready, James? Hell yeah. Let's take them. Actually, I have to get up here. Uh, uh, that was a little awkward, but here we are. Wake what you up got? for me. <laughs> As your partner said, succession is usually simple. But right now, the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. I need someone, I don't care who, as long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Garrus. Vicarian, sir. I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. You're alive. I'm hard to kill. You should know that. Uh... Good to see you again. I thought you'd be on Palavin. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavin. Sorry. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm advising. James, this is Garrus Vicarian. He helped me stop the Collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. Lieutenant, good to see you too, Liara. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. Oh, we're General all back together? Just filled me in. We <sighs> know who we're after. Palavan Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. Know him, Garrus? I was fighting alongside him this morning. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. What do you mean? On Tatris, during the uprisings, his squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian Separatists did. Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the rebels took. Then, the Rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy, but wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus. That should be something to see. You think he can get the job done? We both know conventional strategy won't beat the Reapers. Right now, he could be our best shot. And I trust him. Okay. Let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Commander! Shepard, come in! Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. 
Should I go back and take a look? Do it. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming Harvester! Headed for the airfield! General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. Ah, sorry. <laughs> I love Garrus so much. Ah, Garrus ruined the expectation uh, for a real life man for me. <laughs> okay. God, the music is so loud, but I have to do this first. So, so traumatic, so in a do-do-something kind of manner, but I have to do this here first. More health. Everyone here gets more health. <laughs> uh, Overload is definitely good. And second, because shot, shot is two. Yep, yep, yep. I can't remember the mines. What do we have here? Increases power damage, assault rifle damage. Let's go with the power damage. Okay, three left. Piercing ammo. Uh, the rest was fine, the rest was fine, okay. <laughs> it's true, I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Where do we have to go again? Okay, there. There, the, the, the there. Sorry, lost orientation. Everything is very gray here. That you breathing so hard? Atmosphere's a little thinner than I'm used to, is all. Okay. Adrenaline's better than oxygen any day. Just me? Or do those Reapers look like Turians? You're right, they do. Oh, that was not good. At all. <laughs> that looked fun. He looked behind him like, oh, voices attack for me? You clearly missed me, lady. Oh, okay, that was not me. <laughs> Ooh, not good. Not good, not good, too many of these, guys. I think we're done here. I think you're right. Credits. Worth it to come up here. And now let's head back. Oh, I know what's waiting for us there, I think. Is it there? Or does it come later? Maybe it comes later. I think it comes later. Shepard, come in. Go ahead. Still trying to raise the Primarch, but we've got trouble back here at the main barricade. If the Reapers breach it, we're done. On my way. Ah, okay, yeah, but main barricade. Oh, Jesus, I just saw them dying. That's sad. Oh, I have to reload. <laughs> Good to know. Just picking them off. Maybe I can do three at a time. <laughs> okay, come on. Who's next? Ah! Shit. Horrible reload timing. Shepard. You're right, mate. <laughs> like fish in a barrel. What? Oh, Heads up, here comes another way. Like fish in a barrel. Oh, 
Oh yeah, you can get up here as well. <laughs> Everything's clear on the left? Yeah, looking good. Ooh, okay, there we go. one for this guy oh yeah we was about to say like throw something at him maybe one more I, I wanted <laughs> I didn't want to box it okay what he's done <laughs> okay What's the word of the Primarch I was quite alright. Okay, I'm going on foot. Shepherd out. Garrus, take me to the last place you saw Victus. Ooh, okay. Level up! Is it is it is it worth something? Squat, squat like. Okay, five. Five is good. More Nova. Yeah, let's go with Nova. <laughs> yeah, but always easy. Uh three? Maybe we save here. Yeah, we save for you two guys. Okay. How far? Should be pretty quick, unless we find trouble. Took out a frigate. Man, how many people? Oh my god. Would you look at that? Damn it. Look at Palavin. That blaze of orange. The big one. That's where I was born. That's rough. Still have family there? My dad. A sister. How bad is it? Three million lost the first day. Five the second. Jesus. How's your military holding up? Look around. That should give you some idea. Are you putting up a good fight? For now. But how long does it take before the fight's kicked out of you? If they'd only listened to your warnings about the Reapers, mm -hmm. you might have been ready. Maybe. Hard to figure how you prepare for something like this. Well, we weren't prepared at all, so they should have listened to me. <laughs> Got more back here. Shit, I hate those things. And New York is crawling with the creepy bastards. Uh, I never should have left Earth. It's gonna be bad all over. Leaving the fight just pisses me off. But you're here asking Victus to do the same thing. Leave the fight to make nice in some boardroom. This summit is the only chance we've got. None of us is beating the Reapers alone. Soldier, you okay? Yes, sir. We'll make it. Have you seen General Victus? Half hour ago, and himself. Okay, good luck. Yes, sir. This way? Got, got this right? Yeah, okay, I think I got this right. Jesus! That was a little closer than I'd like. Yeah, I was even closer to it than you! Lola, you really think this summit will work? I mean, Asari? Salarians? Where's the Krogan and Batarians? Where's the meat? It's not that easy. The Batarians took the first hit when the Reapers arrived. Not much left of them. And the Krogan have never forgiven us for the genophage. Right. Turians sterilized them. Salarians came up with it. And the Krogan hate them both for it. So they won't be joining us. Too bad. I fought with the Krogan. They're tough sons of bitches. Krogan, ancient history. Yeah, we, we're well aware of this history. Are we 
keep giving me ammo all over the way? I haven't shot anything in ages. <laughs> give me something to shoot before you give me more ammo. <laughs> Sorry, this is what happens when I when I carry around a shotgun for a little too that long. That sounds bad. Okay, double time. Oops. No Where way taking this Primark from me. Right behind you. Let's hurry the fuck up then. Clear the camp on my way. Ouch, yeah, that that was hurtful. I think there's something shooting at me from the right. Oh fuck. Moving Speak guy again. Moving. Right behind you. Fire! James! Fire! Love a good shotgun. Whoopsie. I need a little more ammo, but then I'm good. Wow! God, there's already another one. I knew there were a second one, but I didn't know when I would arrive. You stay away from my people! Looks grim. Been a brutal fight for these guys. Oh god, how many? It's turning. Turn up the heat. More, James, more! <laughs> Okay, it's gone, apparently. That was not me, but cool. <laughs> was it the last one? No? What are we shooting at? Nothing? Good. <laughs> General Victus? Yes? I'm Commander Shepard of the Normandy. Not Commander. I know who you are. I can't wait to find out what brings you out here. Vicarian, where did you go? Heavy Reaper unit on the right flank. I believe your exact words were, get that thing the hell off my men. Appreciated. General, you're needed off planet. I've come to get you. It will take something beyond important for me to leave my men or my Turian brothers and sisters in their fight. Fedorian was killed. You're the new Primarch. You're needed immediately to chair a summit and represent your people in the fight against the Reapers. Important enough? I'm Primarch of Palavan. Negotiating for the Turian hierarchy? Yes. I've spent my whole life in the military. I'm no diplomat. I hate diplomats. What makes you think you're not qualified? I'm not really a by-the-book kind of guy, and I piss people off. My family's been military since the Unification War. War is my life. It's in my bones. But that kind of passion is deceptive. It can make you seem reckless when you're anything but. War is your resume. At a time like this, we need leaders who've been through that hell. I like that. You're right. And honestly, uniting these races may take as much strength as facing the Reapers. You see this devastation, Primarch? Double that for Earth. I need an alliance. I need the Turian fleet. Give me a moment to say goodbye to my men. Without him down here, there's a good chance we lose this move. Without him up there, there's a good chance we lose everything. 
Look at that. And they want my opinion on how to stop it? Failed CSEC officer, vigilante, and I'm their expert advisor? Think you can win this thing, Shepard? Yeah. I don't know, Garrus, but I'm sure as hell gonna give it my best shot. I'm damn sure nobody else can do it. For whatever it's worth, I'm with you. Welcome aboard. Are you ready, Primarch Victus? One thing. Mm -hmm. Commander, I appreciate your need for our fleets, but I can't spare them. Not while my world is burning. But if the pressure could be taken off Palavan... That's a pretty tall order. We need the Krogan. I can't see us winning this thing without them. Get them to help us, and then we can help you. The Krogan? Looks like your summit just got a lot more interesting. Oh, we're just talking about the Krogan! Right! <laughs> Mobilizer! That's, that's, that's what they call me, I guess, from now on, because it's my newest achievement. <laughs> The Asari have been down this road before, Commander Shepard. But, Madam Counselor, let me... I tried to smooth things over with the Salarian Dalatras. To say she's upset would be a monumental understatement. Some of these issues are hundreds of years old. Time to let go. Sad to say, but any effort to ally these disparate groups seems doomed to failure. And I'm sure you understand that we cannot afford to waste time with the Reapers knocking at our door. This must be my final word. I'm sorry, but the Asari will not be at your summit. Our alliance would be stronger with the Krogan. You need them. We all do. I wish you luck, Commander. Goodbye. Del Trust is painted in a very bad light in this game, kind of, yeah, kind of true. Commander, Admiral Hackett's available on Bitcoin. <sighs> oh, uh-huh. Before I leave then, I guess. Hello, Hackett. Commander, have you retrieved the Primarch for your summit? Yes, sir. But the Asari are staying on the sidelines. They'll regret that. The time for unity is now. The Salarians will be there, though. You don't sound very optimistic. We expect the Krogan will be joining us, too. I see. Well, then you've got your hands full, Commander. <laughs> Was there something else you needed to discuss? Uh. Have you pieced together how the Reapers hit Earth? It wasn't all that complicated, really. They surged through the relays and hit Arctura Station before we knew what was happening. From there, it was a short jump to the Sol system. Earth didn't stand a chance. Sending us to the Mars Archives was a good call. Still doesn't make up for the fact that the Reapers nailed us to the wall. I sacrificed the entire Second Fleet to provide cover for the Third and the Fifth to retreat. Hell, I presided over the most devastating military defeat in human history. How do you see us winning this war, Admiral? By making you the tip of the spear. Hmm. I'm flattered, but the Normandy's just one ship. And a fast one. You can move quickly, hit a target, and leave before the enemy has time to react. That's an advantage, but can it win a war? It's the larger principle that matters. We'll never defeat the Reapers in a full frontal assault, Shepard. The battle against Sovereign three years ago took everything we had, and that was just one Reaper. I haven't forgotten. <laughs> so I'll find their soft spots, avoid them where they're strong, and hit them where they're not. And when I find gaps in the armor, I'll hammer them with every soldier's ship and bullet we've got. Has your analysis of the Prothean device turned up anything? The R appears to be right. It's a weapon of some sort. A big one. Beyond that, we really can't say, other than it's gonna be a hell of a thing to try and build. Do you think it's risky, building something like this when we don't even know what it does? To be honest, the thing scares the hell out of me, but the Reapers have forced our hand. Two centuries ago, scientists faced the same problem in the Second World War. They weren't sure what the atomic bomb might do. Some thought it could even ignite Earth's atmosphere, but they did it anyway. Mm-hmm. Any updates on Cerberus? They're still the wild card here. Hitting the archives on Mars suggests they're after the same thing we are. A way to defeat the Reapers. It didn't seem as if the elusive man was suggesting we appease them. Not like Saren did. You'd think we'd be on the same side now more than ever. Cerberus has never played by the rules as we know them. I don't know what their agenda is, but it has nothing to do with humanity's best interests. The elusive man talked about controlling the Reapers. 
He seemed to think that's how we win this. He's wrong. Dead Reapers are how we win this. Doesn't mean he won't try. I saw your report on that Cerberus soldier you found on Mars. If the elusive man is good at one thing, it's finding new ways to subvert science. It's never worked for him before, and it won't now. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Credit. <laughs> Commander, thank you for allowing me the use of your ship, and for going along with this plan. Garrus said he had to attend to the Normandy's weapon systems. Something about calibrations. Ah, uh, that's how we know him. Sounds like Garrus. <laughs> I'm sorry to say the Asari counselor won't be joining us. She thinks there's too much bad blood with the Krogan. She may be right, but there'll be a lot more blood. Real blood, if we don't try. And when you put it that way... The sooner we have this summit, the sooner we'll know. Is there something else I can help you with? I don't know. Maybe you can. I understand this is a difficult time for you, Primarch, but Earth can't survive without reinforcements. Can I still count on your help? If the Krogan help us on Palavan, then I give you my word. I could just ask the Krogans to help us on Earth and you can stay on Palavan. Now I'm just kidding. How is it being the Primarch? Not what I imagined. The battle of all time is happening on Palavan, and I'm light years away, reading casualty reports in the millions. If I'm going to die, I want to be with my men, so there's no doubt we fought to the last soul. I understand. Leaving Earth to save it, it's one of the hardest things I've ever done. I'm not surprised. Garrus speaks highly of you. You never asked to be a leader, yet your people will die if you refuse. We find ourselves in similar circumstances. Let's hope the spirits grant us the strength to see it through. How are things on Palavan? The casualty reports are staggering. The Reapers are using our own tactics against us. Destroy the enemy with overwhelming force. I've seen the same on Earth. The strategist in me admires their brutality. The Turian in me knows I'm watching the destruction of 15,000 years of civilization. My civilization. Thank you, Primarch. My thoughts are with Palavin. And mine with Earth. Oh, Goosebumps. Love this. Okay. <laughs> Guys, I will call it a day soon. There is one. If there is only one. Uh oh. What do you mean, offline? Apparently I have I to do two things. Responding and I can't access the AI core diagnostics. You better get down to deck three. I was about to go there for some... Oh, Comm systems are going haywire. Whatever's happening is centered on deck three. I was not aware of the fact that this is happening now. Okay, we have two things to do here before I probably call it a day. <laughs> uh, I'm on my way. She's just chilling here like nothing, nothing's happening. Joker, what's that sound? Fire extinguishers, Commander. Could be an electrical fire or something. I'm going in. <laughs> Edie, talk to me. Is there a particular topic you wish to discuss, Shepard? <laughs> Edie. Yes. You're in Dr. Eva's body. Not all of me, but I have control of it. It was not a seamless transition. We noticed that. What exactly happened? A transition? You blacked out on us for a while there. Correct. When we brought this unit on board, I began a background process to search for its information on the Prothean device. This eventually triggered a trap. A backup power source and CPU activated, and the unit attempted physical confrontation. Fortunately, I was able to gain root access and repurpose it as I saw fit. 
During this process, it struggled. Thus, the fire. Katie, you need to alert us about incidents like this. You shouldn't have done this alone. Bringing the crew up to speed would have been counterproductive. All attempts to help would have been limited by reaction time. So if you're in there, are you still in the ship? I exist primarily within the ship. For optimal control, this unit should remain within Normandy's broadcast or tight beam range. Are you planning to take that body somewhere? Normandy's weaponry is not suited to every combat situation. This platform could provide limited fire ground support. You mean you could come with us? Correct. This body could accompany you to areas the Normandy cannot reach. Before we do that, I need you to guarantee this mech doesn't have any more surprises in it. Run whatever tests you can, then we can talk about using it in combat situations. One moment. I am running trials. Complete. <laughs> I can send you a full report if you wish. However, my first step should be restoring functionality to the Normandy to reassure the crew that all is normal. Just don't be surprised if the crew's a little wary of your new body. It was shooting at them a little while ago. An excellent point. I will take it to the bridge. Joker will also want to see it. <sighs> On that, we can agree. <laughs> I think she says something? Was that Edie who just walked by? Yes, it was. A joker is going to have a field day with this. Yes, he will. Okay, one last person I would like to talk to before I call it a day for today. <sighs> Two of our dreadnoughts have been lost in a matter of hours. I know, Primark. I'm seeing the same numbers myself. They don't look good. Have to turn this around and fast. Well, you can trust Shepard, sir. If anybody can get the Krogan to cooperate, it's her. She's an old Garrus. Oh, so you weren't done. Any time getting to work? Sorry. I see. After what I've been through lately, calibrating a giant gun is a vacation. Gives me something to focus on. We're gonna need you for more than your aim. Oh, I'm ready for it. But I'm pretty sure we'll still need giant guns, and lots of them. Can't argue with that. Yeah, so is this the part where we shake hands? Wasn't sure about the protocol on reunions, or if you even still felt the same way about me. The scars are starting to fade. I remember they drove you wild. <laughs> but I can go out and get all new ones if it'll help. Of course! I haven't forgotten our time together. Well, I've been doing some more research on human customs. I didn't... <gasps> That's the protocol on reunions. The vids mentioned it might go something like that. <gasps> I had hoped it would. I mean, I didn't know if... I can't promise how things will work out. Not with this war. But I missed you, Garrus. I thought about you a lot. Glad to know my romantic, um, <clears throat> skills made an impression. Because it's going to take more than Reapers to come between this cross-species liaison. <laughs> Speaking of which, you said you're the expert advisor on Reapers now? It's not- No, impressive. don't switch the topic! It was so romantic! Together, so oh. they gave me a token title, along with a token task force, so I shut up. <laughs> How'd you manage that? Just followed your example, Shepard. Yell loud enough and someone will eventually come over to see what all the fuss is about. Not that they'll actually do anything about it. Until hell shows up at their door. Then they put you in charge. <laughs> Not like the old days, is it? Rogue Spectre and CSEC agents running and gunning outside the lines, making it up as we went along. We're actually respectable now. Yeah. I have a feeling that respect comes with a lot of sleepless nights. I can't even count how many lives are depending on us, Garrus. Well, when things are looking grim, and I'm pretty sure they will, just remember... We're in this together. And if it ends with both of us dying and a giant explosion taking out a Reaper... Remember I took the kill shot.
<laughs> I love him. Something else you want to talk about? Uh, sure. You mentioned you still had family oh. on Palavin. My father is there. Sister, too. How long's it been since you heard from him? Long enough to be worried. Don't worry. I'm sure they're okay. That's the thing about getting old, Shepard. The platitudes get just as old. Pretty soon, blind hope is all we'll have left. And I hate being blind. I know you don't have any illusions about what we're up against, Garrus. How do you rate our chances? I know it looks bad now, but I think we can win this, Shepard. For the first time since we met, we're not alone in the fight. It's something I learned long ago in CSEC. An imminent and painful death has a way of motivating people. Instead of questioning your every word, whole civilizations are going to be begging you to save them. After what's happened to Palavin, you still believe that? I didn't say there wouldn't be casualties. It's something Turians are taught from birth. If just one survivor is left standing at the end of a war, then the fight was worth it. But humans want to save everyone. In this war, that's not going to happen. So what's this Reaper task force you've been running? After what happened to you out there in Batarian space, I knew time was running out. For all of us. The Citadel Council was a dead end, so I did something I never thought I'd do. I went to my father. He used to work for CSEC, didn't he? I seem to remember that the two of you didn't see eye to eye. To put it mildly. But he still had heavy pull in the Turian government. The Primarch, well, the old one, was a friend of his. So I went to my father and laid out everything we knew about the Reapers, from Saren all the way to the Collector base. I'm not sure even I'd believe it. <laughs> I had to admit that parts of it sounded crazy, meeting Vigil, talking to Sovereign on Vermeer. But my father just listened. It's what he did in his days at CSEC, putting together all the pieces. If the connections were there, he wouldn't deny them. And he saw what we always knew. The Reapers were coming. I'm glad someone finally agreed. He did more than agree. He took it to the Primarch. I like his style. Except the Primarch wasn't as convinced. My father kept pushing and finally got him to commit some token resources. And if you call them a task force, it sounds like you did something about it. What'd you do with it? As much as I could get away with. And a little more. We hardened our lines of communications, expanded emergency stockpiles across the colonies, improved our early warning detection protocols. You think it helped? I'd like to think it bought our fleet some extra time. We'll know when this war is over. So you can vouch for this new Primarch? Well, even if I couldn't, you go to war with the army you have. Will he live up to his word? I've never known Victus to lie. Play fast and loose with strategy, maybe, but betray an ally. Not his style. Then if he did try, well, we'll just find another Primarch. I noticed generals saluting you, Garrus. How far down the line of secession are you these days? Let's not go there. <laughs> Why not? I've seen you in action. Think about it. Primarch Vicarian, honored war hero. Somebody's gonna have to rebuild Palavin when this is over. Your confidence is inspiring, but it'll have to be someone who knows how to hold the hammer. That's all for now, Garrus. But stay close. We've got some catching up to do. Do you know where to find me? And this time, I can afford the good stuff. There are a few perks to being an expert Reaper advisor. Deal. Now, I'm sure somebody screwed up something down here. I want to get the old girl back in fighting shape. Ah! God, that was important to me. Romance restored. <laughs> I'm very excited how this will work with Caden as soon as Caden is back. On track here, um, but I don't really care what, what happens with Caden as long as I'm with Garrus again. Okay, guys, that being said, that was very important to me. God, I have to pee. Um, was it exactly four hours? That's funny. <laughs> okay, saved, right? I saved, I just saved, I just, I just saved, I saved. It means I can back to the main menu.